Integrated Fire Safety Systems specialise in the design, supply, install and commission of fire detection, fire suppression and smoke management systems. This short video will show you the basics on how to operate a GEM Vigilon panel. We're going to start off by looking at what you need to do in a fire scenario. When the fire alarm is in fire, the panel buzzes like this but the sounders will be going off. I've silenced them in advance because it's awkward to talk over them. So when you come to the panel, you press silence alarms and cancel buzzer. Then the panel is silent. Then obviously you find what's caused the problem. For example, brake glass has been pressed or there's been dust or smoke in here because the workman's been on site. It's highly unlikely there'll be a fire. And once you know the fire condition, whatever it is, the brake glass has been put back right or the smoky, dusty area has been cleared, press silence alarms again and then reset. If it comes back into alarm, you've not cleared the fire condition. Make sure none of your core points have got the red light flashing, or if the area where work has been done and dust has been created, that the device is not lit red. If it is, you've got to wait till that clears, then go back, press silence and reset again. Now we want to look at isolating inputs. To disable the device, press menu. Control, disable, sensing, sensing is all your smoke detector devices, so you press sensing, it then says disable sensing with a little flashing icon, you, you do the device number, whatever the device number is, so let's say it's device number one, then the loop it's on, which is also going to be number one, and enter, the device is now disabled. This is how you enable devices. To re-enable the device, menu, control, enable, sensing, device was one, the loop was one, and enter again. So it's just the, the, the same but back, backwards and forwards for any device of that nature. Finally, this is your weekly test procedure. Right. To test a device weekly, you go around to a different core point every week. You insert the core point key and push up once. The panel will go into fire, the sounders will all sound, at the moment I've got disabled for going to speak to you. You press silence or alarms and cancel buzzer. Pull out the core point key, Press silence alarms and reset. If the panel is cleared, then you've got no problems. If it goes back into alarm, you've not reset this properly. Insert the key again, push up and pull back out again. That's how we reset the core point. Integrated fire safety systems, simplifying delivery of your project.